understanding lead rating system. So what is a lead rating system? Okay, as you can see in this image, this is a scorecard of the lead rating system. Okay, this scorecard is divided into categories. Let me zoom it. So here you can see we have we have different categories, location and transportation, sustainable sites, water efficiency, energy atmosphere, material resources, indoor IAQ, innovation, regional priority. So these are all called as categories. Okay, these are called as categories. In each category, I'll, I'll take one example. In each category, for example, in water efficiency, because we are going to study about plumbing design. So I'll focus on this one only. So in, in this category, that is the third one, which is water efficiency. Here, there are some points allocated to this. In water efficiency, there are total possible 11 points. Similarly, for all others, there are some possible points for the each category. 16, 10, 11, 33, okay? And counting all those, there are total 110 points in lead rating system. Total 110. So if you focus on any one of the categories, here in one category we have, in each category, we have prerequisites and credit. Prerequisites and credit. Prerequisites are mandatory. There are no points awarded for the prerequisites. There are mandatory. You have to do if any or any one of the prerequisite you are failed to comply, you cannot be certified. Your building cannot be certified as a green building. So there are mandatory. No points given for the prerequisites. Second thing is the credit. So credit will give you the points. Okay. And you have to achieve those credits how you will achieve usgbc or this lead rating system will give you guidelines they will give you strategies and you have to apply those strategies you have to achieve the credits when you achieve the credits you will get the points okay so out of all this when you have done all the credits as per their requirement they will give you the points and once you achieve out of 110 if it is 40 to 4, 40 to 50, 49, the build will, building will be certified. If the points are in the range of 50 to 59, the building will be certified as a sil silver green building. 60 to 79, it will be as a gold uh, green building. Or if it is 80 plus, then it's a platinum rated green building. Okay, so based on the points, this is the certification, but minimum 40 points are required to be certified as a green building. Minimum points required to be certified is a 40 points to uh, become a certif certified green building plus all the prerequisites you have to achieve. Okay, so in the next slide, I will discuss in detail about this water efficiency credit because if, uh, in this course, we are dealing with the plumbing design. So this is one of the category which we are looking for.